Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Rakaq, Uh Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Shalom. Um, salutations to the Aki, I'm out there laboring in this truth and sincerity, the Aquaf as well. I'm Yalak Marah from the Shepherd of Berea camp. Yeah, quick response video to the Priest Malak Bar video. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Esau is in the power seat for now, don't be cardinal. You know, the last days, of course, you have men fulfilling their lots, some being zealots. And this is uh, pertaining to these guys out in Massachusetts, in which they had pretty much like a standoff with Esau. They had their guns out and um, they were trying to uh, <laughs> utilize Esau's own law to uh, validate themselves to be able to carry weapons. And these are so-called black men, all right? And their YouTube channel was Rise of the Moors. So the uh, Priest Malakbar actually did a good video on it. You can check it out. In which this uh, individual that you're seeing in the camera right now is um, one of the guys from uh, who uh, was carrying their weapons out in Massachusetts. We have no associations with you guys. The point of doing this lesson is, as a response video for me, the point of the brother doing a lesson is to show that, hey, Esau's in his rulership. You are not equal to this man. The reason why I'm doing a response video is because as the brother was doing a video, something came to mind that when I look at this, right, what hits me is that this man has a talent. He has a blessing, and the man that I'm talking about is not this individual in front of the camera. I'm talking about the man that's in rulership. You cannot take, make your uh, your your way, or um, copy someone's blessing. You got to find your own gift. All right, that's like you being Allen Iverson. And you saying, yo, I'm going to win the championship. I'm going to be like Shaquille O'Neal. But you're Allen Iverson. You're only six foot one. What you going to do posting up in a paint against the Ken Bay Matumbo, against David Robinson, you know, against Tim Duncan? You over here saying, pass me the rock. Posting up against David Robinson, Tim Duncan, Shaquille O'Neal himself. And you trying to back them down. And they look at you, looking at you laughing because that's not your ability. This is the same shit the way that Esau is looking at it. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you really think I'll make the gun probably looking at you like Nigga, I'm about to shoot you. The gun, the gun, the gun is laughing like, yo, bro, I, this guy's crazy. But the whole point is that I had a scripture, right? And this scripture is, um... Proverbs 18 and 16, which says, a man's gift maketh room for him. All right. The reason why Esau got in this rulership, where everybody knows that the reason why you even have them weapons is because you see the power that he has and he was able to do. He was able to lay people down. He was able to enforce laws. He's able to make sure everybody's using his dollar. OK, he gained riches. He gained women. He pushed his philosophy. He got nations, ancient nations dressing up in his suits. He has ancient customs cha being changed to where women want to be drivers now. He has turned out the world, okay, from his gift, which is the sword. And I want to go to that in Genesis. And you've noticed that. And you said, you know what? I'm going to use that same one because that done a lot for him. But that's not your gift. A man's gift maketh room for him. And that's how he got room inside of this world. And bringeth him before great men. And it's going to bring him before great men. Okay. <laughs> in judgment. All right. But ultimately in looking at this scripture right here. A man's gift maketh room for him. And bringeth him before great men. Okay. Is that. Your actual gift, all right, is in being a servant unto the Lord and pushing forth this word. And that's what's going to make room for you in the kingdom. That's what's going to give you a seat. That's what's going to give you a seat. 
That's what's going to give you space. Because the whole point is that we don't have no room here. So you, what you gaining, you trying to hold your weapons to basically have a space of peace in this planet Earth. On his land, right? But you want it to be home and you want to be able to be sovereign, have nobody check for your ID, shit like that, right? You trying to make room here. That's not how you're going to make room. That's not how you're going to make room. So let's jump. I want to just jump back real quick to Genesis. All right. This is Genesis. Oh, Salaki, I'm at Exodus. All right. Um, man, oh man. This is Genesis chapter 27, verses 38. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also. So he's asking for a blessing. He's asking for what? A gift, ultimately, from his father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. He cried for it. And Isaac, his father, answered him and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live. So his gift was to be able to live by the sword. So his life source isn't food, it isn't uh, blood, it isn't oxygen, it's the sword. So that's why he have these constitution and laws that he's able to carry. Uh, able to carry. It doesn't apply to you, that's his life source. That's something to document for him that, listen, I need this. Without this, I cannot live. Without this, I, can, I have no place, I have no room. Because remember, this man was made a vagabond throughout the earth. This is no sympathy for the devil, but this is just what it is. He's made a vagabond. He's going to be around this person, around that person. So he needed a blessing. He needed something to be able to survive. And his survival instinct wasn't to be nice, wasn't to be a, a great servant unto people. It was to live by the sword. And that was what's going to preserve his life until this day. That's what's preserving his kingdom is his swords <laughs> and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off of thy net. All right. And he done that. All right. Um, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. So my thing is, is you Moorish people, what is the blessing that he hates you for? You so caught up of trying to be equal with his laws. He needed his laws to validate himself to be able to live but what is it that you had that made him ask for the blessing why aren't you thinking about that why aren't you thinking about something that you already got up over him but you too busy chasing after his blessing and he's laughing like oh shit he want to play by my rules i'm i can't play by his but if he want to play by mine, i'm gonna demolish him and sure enough because if al of iverson Wants to play that center role against a M the Kim Matumbo, a David Robinson. You know, you name, you name it. They going to love that shit all day. He ain't going to be able to get no points in, no rebounds in, nothing in. But if he play his position, whether it be the point guard, the two guard, the shooting guard, guess what? He's unstoppable. If they come out that center, out of that paint, to try to guard him up top, it ain't happening. Because he's going to move too fast. He's going to move way more elusive than they can. All right? And that's the ultimate thing. We got a lane. We got a lot that we're going to play in. And it is not by living by the sword. It's not trying to validate ourselves. Not trying to be equal. You know, and this is just one of the tips right here with this Morris. But now you got things going on in the Olympics. They changing the head coverings for, for the sisters. You know, they calling that racist. But the Olympics ain't for us. It ain't for us. Why are we fighting to bring in 
our culture with their with their culture. Oh, it's not right. We're not able to be part of the Olymp the uh, Olympics and have the big um because we want to we're out here natural in Olympics. <laughs> That's the Lord. Why are we even fighting to be be like them or be part of their thing? Let them keep their Olympics. Let them keep whatever it is that that is theirs. They earned it anyway. They fought hard for it, right? But we have something that we should look into, all right? And it's something that he, right, hates. They envy us. I'm going to get that as well. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of the morning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. All right? So he's, the reason why he wants to do that is because we have a blessing already that he's envying. And not just him, the other nations envy it. All right. Um, this is Ezekiel 31 and 9. I have made him fear by the multitude of his branches so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai envied him. They were jealous. Why were they jealous? I want to show you. We're gonna we're gonna get some understanding. A lot of you more should looking for sovereignty for freedom through what? Through his blessing. No, you get sovereignty and freedom through a blessing that the Lord already gave that, that he gave us, right? And, and 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 it's right here in the scriptures. This is Baruch chapter 3, verse 36. He hath found out, verse 35. This is our God, Yahweh, the Most High's name. All right, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and there shall none other be accounted of him in comparison of him. So nothing else is to be compared with the, Mo with the Most High. Verse 36, he hath found out all the way of knowledge. So all the knowledge there is in the world, the Most High has, and have given it unto Jacob his servant. This is the ultimate reason why <laughs> they're jealous, they're envious. The only thing he knows how to do is take things to make it into a sword. And what the fuck are we so jealous about that for? That everything he finds, he'll take water, he's going to turn it into a weapon. He'll take a rock, he'll take minerals, and he'll turn these things into weapons. Nuclear missiles, all right? Waterboarding, all right? Like he just takes it and turns it all into, into weapons. Why? Cool. But why, why are we jealous about that? Why? When we have access to knowledge, that plus more. Because what? Because the Most High gave it to us. What do we have? We're able to serve the, the Creator. He's not able to serve the Creator, okay, in its entirety. The only way he's able to serve the Creator, all right, is through being a deaf instrument, through being a sword. We have more access, and that's the thing. We have access to giving life. This is our God, and there shall none be in comparison of him. He hath found out all the way of knowledge and have given it unto Jacob his servant and to Israel his beloved. Afterward did he show himself upon earth and converse with men. What men did he converse with? The same ones that he gave the knowledge unto. So wouldn't they be jealous because of that? So why, why are you guys tripping about holding and being able to carry? I write the same thing for Esau. That's cardinal. Why? The Most High giving us a way more access, you know, to, to be able to do more spiritual things. It's nothing to be even to even be fighting over. And hell no, nobody going to want to save your ass on YouTube. Now you running scared from the devil. You know, you want to play on his playing field. Go ahead and play by it. Because now he's going to mark all y'all. He's going to gather all y'all up. All right. And he going to smoke y'all. Because you playing on his level. And the priest went into so many beautiful precepts, all right, in, in, in his video, okay, showing you that Esau was set up and that what, man? The, you know, the, the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal. But see, that's his, that's his blessing. That's his blessing. You know, I just wanted to do that response video to make Jake, you know, look and seize that whole on. He's jealous of, of, of a blessing that we already have. They're already envying us for something already. 
So why are we getting tricked to follow after them? That's the biggest trick in the book. The o That's the biggest okie doke. Here it is. He jealous over something that we got. And he want to make us jealous because he's, he's making his, his laws and stuff like that. And we want to feel like, oh, it pertains to us. Or, oh, we could be in his Olympics too. But we got something that he wants. So he's going to make you jealous to chase after what he got. All right. And then he's going to accuse you. The accuse, the accuse of our brother. He's going to sit there and point his finger. See, they don't really want that blessing, Lord. They don't want. They want to be part of this Olympics. They want to be able to carry weapons just like me. They want to be able to part of the, the alphabet community just like they, they. You know, that's all he's gonna do. That's all he doing, all day, all day. Um. Last scripture is uh, um. You know. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and uh, 3. For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest. So everybody want to be sovereigns. But where does it come from? It comes from the most high. Who shall try your works and search out your counsels? <laughs> That's where it comes from. Psalm 70. 70 um, let me just type in promotion. Psalm 75 and 6. For promotion cometh. Let me let me start from uh, 75 and 5. Lift not up your horn on high. Right. This is this is what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to lift up your strength on high. You're trying to display your strength with saying their law because they, they know that there's strength in their law. All right. That's wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, verse 11. Let our strength be the law of justice. So they trying to show to lift up that, oh, yeah, this law that they have is powerful. And, you know, we, we, we're going to abide by it, too. No, no. Lift up not your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west. All right. They're lifting up that that um that that flag from the Middle East, Morocco. <laughs> That shit don't give you promote. That doesn't give you promotion. Nor from the south. But God, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah is the judge. He put it down one and set up another. So if you were able to get access and this power is dealing with Israel, with Jacob, and you're from that lineage, why are you worrying about the sword? Why? All right? They're going to have their things in this world. It says it in the scriptures. Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. These are prayers from men which are thy hand. So once again, they only have one objective to do. Terminate, kill, destroy. KSD. <laughs> steal and destroy. Right? Kill, steal, and destroy. From men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life. They've made room for themselves. They've made a portion from themselves with their, with their sword. That is their gift. We'll make a portion and we'll get a large portion, an inheritance, okay, from doing the will of the Most High, which is being a servant unto him. Pushing forth his law, statutes, and commandments, all right, following the high holy days, all right, teaching about our forefathers. All right. And dealing uprightly. All right. Which have their portion in this life, whose belly thou hath fillest with thy hid treasure. They are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. That's it. King David ain't going to get jealous about it. He said, hey, I'm just going to behold thy face in righteousness and I'm going to be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. That's it. You know. That's why Yahweh Shah said, well, render the Caesar with Caesar's. All right? Because at the end of the day, it's theirs. What are you going to use Caesar's gun against Caesar? That doesn't make any sense. As in, he can shut some of these guns is going to have so much smart technology and they're going to shut down on you. They might fire off on you. Because he's going to have that much control over it. Matthews, he said, he said, you know, 
we're not um anti-government, we're not anti this or anti that. Well, you basically trying to be put on the same equal, so you are against what they because they're not about being equal with you. So you are against their government. Their government is for them to be in power. And those who are full underneath their privileges. You are not capable of doing that. <laughs> they are not giving you that ability. Matthew 22 and 17. Tell us, therefore, what thing is thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? Right. But guess what? You got Trump. That's that. That. Hey, he doesn't. He can get away with that. Why? Because the children are free. As Peter said, when Yahweh Shai asked him, the children are free. They're free from all of the different things that you're not able to do. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Yahweh Shai perceived their wickedness and said, why tempt me ye, me ye hypocrites? Because you niggas are paying taxes and you know what's up. Verse 19, show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. Now, why do you think they were going around asking this stuff? Because you had some same individuals who was against the Roman Empire, same overrighteous individuals who were sitting there saying, we are the ones of the land. We're the first black man. We're this, we're that. We have, you know, entitlements to this. Technically, this is ours. You can't oppress us. But you're going around all the different things that the Most High already said that was going to happen. Because what? Because he's a, the Lord is able to set up whoever he wants, all right? Verse 20, and saith unto them, whose is this image and superscription? All right? Who written those laws? Who written the Constitution? When the Constitution was written, in what space or context was it being said? When they were saying we the people, what people was it referring to? It wasn't referring to all people. Obviously, they were fighting against some of the Britons. So even against that, they wasn't even saying for all their people. Although it can apply to all their people, it wasn't for all people. It wasn't for the Chinese. It wasn't for the East Indians. All right? And it wasn't for you. It wasn't for me. Whose image and superscription? And they say if unto him, then say if he render them, then they say if unto him Caesar's, then they then say if he unto them, render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, right? If he's living by the, hey, I'm going to get that. You live by the sword, you're going to die by it. That's his, that's his thing. On that gun, you might see Smith and Weston. You might see this individual's name. You're not going to see Morse. All right. You're not going to see your names. On those weapons. It says, render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's and unto God the things that are God's. So why don't you tap into the things that are the most highs? And render and, and give due just unto the Lord. Matthew 26 and 52, then Yahweh Shah say if uh Yahweh Shah then said Yahweh Shah unto him, put up again thy sword unto his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. That's it, man. I could close out on that. For all that take the sword, with the law involved, with the constitution, with whatever you want to call it, shall perish with the sword. That's it. My question is, do you want to die? Do you want to die? And if that's something that you're wishing for, then go ahead and keep holding up the sword. But if you don't want to die, all right, and I mean that by a judgment, okay, because, wait, we all, you know, we're all going to grow old one day, right? <laughs> you know, do you want to perish? Do you want to be utterly wasted? Do you want your brains or your body parts do you want to get Micah X Johnson? Do you want to get blown up across all America? Do you want your head in East India, your leg over in Morocco? All right, your nutsack somewhere in the middle of the ocean. Like, do, do, come on. How do you want this? Because you can get it. All right. 
It can keep it gangster. He can keep it gorgeous. How you want to go about it? <laughs> How you want to go about it? Because Esau could give it to you that way. The mo Not even Esau. The most high is letting you know that. Yeah, how was Shah's letting you know that? And you know he going to use him because he is, you know he's going to use Esau as because he is the sword. So how you want to go about it? This is Revelations um, 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Most High is actually going to set this man up, all right, to where he's going to be going into captivity. All right. He that killeth with the sword, okay, must be killed with the sword. So those who are doing the damage with the sword, they are going to be destroyed, okay, with the sword. But who gave him the sword? So that's the one who's going to be able to take it away. You didn't give him the blessing of the sword. All right. There's one power who gave him the sword. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh He's going to come to take away that blessing. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. All right. To the next time, I'll say Shalom. Lord's words is edifying lesson. Shalom. Call all y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shimmer Kakadash.